As North Carolina continues to struggle with flooding, early assessments of damage from deadly Hurricane Matthew are starting to materialize. Morgan Brennan reports. It was the worst hurricane to hit the region in more than a decade, though not quite as disastrous as feared. As the storm headed toward Florida as a Category 4 hurricane, estimates of insurance losses spiked upwards of $25 billion. With experts warning, Matthew could be a top five storm in terms of damage. But after the hurricane lost some strength and resisted landfall up much of the coast, estimates have come down. CoreLogic says one and a half million homes and businesses likely sustained wind or storm surge damage, putting insured property losses between four and six billion dollars, not including flooding, which the federal government insures against and lost business. It's a meaningful sum, but still relatively small compared to 40 billion dollars for Hurricane Katrina and 20 billion for Superstorm Sandy. Still, analysts do expect this to dent some insurers' fourth quarter results. The hits will be meaningful but manageable. Um, I would expect, I think of, you know, kind of the bigger names, uh, most likely somebody say like an all state, uh, because they have such a large presence in homeowners will probably take some material losses. Um, interestingly enough, I think you could potentially also see progressive uh, take some losses. That would be something of a new development for them. Many national carriers limited their exposure in Florida due to strict regulations. But small cap names, including Universal Insurance Holdings, Heritage Financial, and Federated National Holding Company, have large Florida operations. The reason those stocks tumbled as the storm approached. But none of that takes into account the broader economic impact. Risk assessment firm Kinetics Analysis thinks that could still make this storm a top 10 disaster event. 10 to 15 billion dollars, including insured losses, flood damage, and the impact of lost business. The evacuation of millions of people could alone cost $3 billion. But as people return to their homes and cleanup begins, it will take some time to sort out the true cost of weathering Matthew. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.